An apparent home upgrade turned into a giant problem for a triad woman. She added solar panels in the hopes of cutting back on her electric bill. She ended up paying extra once the panels wouldn't cooperate. Two wants to news Kevin Kennedy shares how he helped solve her problem. It's something Crystal Nichols never really thought about. They came through the neighborhood with a couple of guys and just knocking on people's doors, talking to people about solar. A month later, Crystal had 27 panels mounted to her roof. The sale went great. The paperwork was easy and fast. Everything going well until they flipped the switch. Nothing, nothing. I couldn't get any. Power. A problem with the connection, the panel's not generating any power. It wasn't connected correctly, and then getting a hold of somebody was next to impossible. Crystal tried to reach someone, anyone, for months. The system useless, but her lease to the finance company still had to be paid. I was making double payments every month to Duke and then to the solar company. Her energy bill around 180 a month, her lease for the solar panels 144. We immediately reached out to the solar company. I guess you calling them decided to make them start doing what they needed to do. It wasn't exactly right away, but the panels are now up and running and the solar company reimbursed Crystal for six months worth of lease payments. I am very grateful that you guys made the calls and, and uh, helped because otherwise I don't know how long it would have been and I'd be making double payments. Here's hoping there are plenty of sunny days ahead in Walkertown, Kevin Kennedy. Who wants to know? We've heard from lots of other people over the years about issues with solar panels and the numerous companies that sell them. Since 2020, the state attorney general's office has received more than a thousand complaints related to various solar companies. Bottom line, do your research first.